Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and Large Language Model Tutorials. In this tutorial, we explain how to install and run LAMA 3.370B LLM on a local computer locally. LAMA 3.370B model offers similar performance compared to the older LAMA 3.1405B model. However, the LAMA 3.370B model is smaller and it can run on computers with lower end hardware. Our local computer has NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB RAM. The computer has 48 regular gigabyte of RAM memory and the Intel CPU i9 with this product number. LAMA 3.3 works on this computer, however, it is relatively slow as you will see later on. We can speed up the inference by changing model parameters. More about this in the future tutorials. You will need around 40 gigabyte of disk space to download the LAMA 3.370B model. And the installation procedure looks like this. First of all, we need to install OLAMA on a local computer. OLAMA is a software framework and a program for running LLMs on local computers. By using OLAMA, you can use a command line to start a model and to ask questions to LLMs. In fact, on my YouTube channel, there are maybe 10 or 15 tutorials explaining how to use OLAMA. In this video tutorial, I will just provide a brief overview. Once we install OLAMA, we will manually download and run our LAMA 3.370B model. Let's start immediately. Okay, let's start with explanations. The first step is to download OLAMA. To do that, go to the OLAMA website, then click on download and select your operating system. In my case, it's Windows and click on download for Windows. And the download process should start. I usually like to save all the files in the downloads folder and click on save. Now, wait for a while until the download process completes. This might take even a minute or so, depending on how fast is your internet connection. After the installation file is downloaded, double click on the file to start the installation. And again, the installation process will be relatively quick. Click on install. Over here, you can actually feel where the files are being extracted. And later on, I will explain where to find the model files. The location of model files is actually very important since sometimes you want to double check that after uninstalling a particular version of OLAMA, all the old model files are erased. After the installation process is completed, OLAMA will run in the background and you can see that by clicking here and by observing this small beautiful icon. So this icon means that OLAMA is running in the background. There are several ways to check that OLAMA is properly installed. To do that you can simply click on start, search for command prompt and you can type here OLAMA and if OLAMA is installed you will see this general guidelines and the help. Okay, the next step is to download the model. To download the model, go back to the OLAMA website and here search for a model. Let's search for LAMA 3.3 and let's see what do we see over here. We see LAMA 3.3 70B model. Make sure that you click here and over here is the command that should be run in the command problem in order to install and run LAMA 3.3. However, I'm not going to exactly run this command, I'm just first going to download everything. Consequently, I will type all LAMA, then instead of run, I will simply type pull 
pull means as you can see over here to pull a model from a registry this means to download and then let's see what's the model name the model name is llama 3.3 and let's type that llama 3.3 and let's make sure that this is correct it is and let's press enter and now you should be patient this is going to take a while as you can see over here here's the current progress we can see that this model is 42 gigabyte however let's see later on will we have to download an additional file currently we are at one percent and we are at 15 seconds in download so if you multiply this by let's say 100 you will get around let's say 1500 seconds to download everything so be patient and after approximately half an hour the model is downloaded and you should see these lines next let's make sure that the model is on our system the first check is to type olama list and if the model is downloaded successfully you will see it over here and you will see the size next let's verify where the model files are namely if you go to your c disk or drive go to user then enter your username and you will find this hidden folder dot olama if you don't see the hidden folder you need to enable to view the hidden folders and files you can simply click on view and make sure that hidden items are selected so let's go inside a llama folder and here under models you will see two folders one is blobs another is manifests and you can see over here what's the size of the downloaded model it is around 40 gigabytes good the next step is to run the model for that purpose go back to the command prompt and type the following command essentially you need to type olama run and the name of the model here it is copy this name or whatever name you see in olama list and press enter and then wait for a while until the models until the model is opened and until it's the model is loaded in your system you can also start task manager to check what are the memory consumption and what are the cpu consumptions you can see now how much cpu is used and how much memory is used on my system i'm having 48 gigabyte of ram then you can also see what it, the gpu is doing over here so here is gpu you can see the memory utilization on your gpu and you can also see the cpu usage this is very useful so let's wait and let's see will the model be loaded completely and after approximately one minute it seems that the model is loaded let's uh, ask a model a basic question who are you let's see the answer let's see how long does it take to generate the answer at the same time you can see what's happening over here you can see the gpu consumption and you can see over here what's happening i'm an artificial intelligent model known as llama and you can see furthermore what's happening at the same time let's see the gpu usage and the cpu usage here it is it seems that the model is working okay so let's ask another question let me try to do this cls to see will the cls be recognized it seems like you are trying to let's see what's happening clear the screen okay so let's see what's happening and then llama will actually give you a model or the answer for how to clear now you can see that actually the model is running relatively slow again you're running over here a 70p model and this is real-time generation so consequently you need to be patient to get the, the answer however this is still a success since we are able to run 
a 70B model on a relatively modest hardware. And as you have seen, the inference is relatively slow. There are several approaches for increasing the speed of the inference and we will cover these approaches in the future tutorials. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.